Hello and a very warm welcome. My name is Udo Sendaidokai and in this video I explain the modulator called MIDI that reacts to MIDI CC messages. MIDI stands for control changes and I made a video about it that goes into uh, that goes a little deeper into the technical details. Please have a look at the info cards or the video description for the link. I'll be happy if you give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel, but um, let's get started. In short, MIDI CC messages are MIDI commands that are sent from a controller to a device to change a value of a specific parameter regardless if it is hardware or software. In Bitwig, there's a modulator to receive such commands or MIDI CC messages called MIDI. You can um, just open the modulator section and add this modulator MIDI via the browser. You see um, on the display of the modulator already CC1, a Dean check, and a fine crossing uh, and a fine line crossing the check. When you open the MIDI modulator by clicking on it, you see in total three sections. Message, controller and channel. Message consists of CC, pressure and bend. The controller section in the middle of the modulator's detail page is only available when CC in the message checksum above is selected. And with the controller you can manually dial in the CC number you want to grab from a controller. Or use the learn CC function to catch the controller. In my case, there is an expression pedal that is plugged via 3.5 check in the MIDI keyboard and controlled by the Flexi script of Driven by Moss, where I had to set it in the settings, controllers, and in the keyboard and pad section of the script to um, the root expression CC11 to on to grab the signals, the signal. Always make sure which CC your controller is sending. You find that in the technical documentation or with the MIDI monitor. If you can't grab that signal from your controller, there can be several reasons. Here quick, the five best ofs. The first one, you're already using a Bitwig controller script or configuration here in the settings uh, controllers that is already wired in Bitwig internally. So it refuses to rewire the internal wiring with an additional CC controller. You can't wire one knob or fader a second time to another hardware. And you don't want to do that really, believe me. The second one, you're using a controller script like driven by MOS, then you don't need the MIDI modulator because everything is as well already defined. Or you're using the driven by MOS flexi script like I do over here. And you can find an add controller generic flexi. Um, where you can define in detail up to 300 knobs and faders and define what they should do when you wiggle them around. So for example, if I um, show it on this flexi script over here, there are 300 slots you can define. And with this slot you can, or this settings, you can define what this fader is doing then. Number three. You didn't define that controller in Bitwig in the setting controller page. Number four, if you try to find a driver for your controller, but you couldn't find one, then try MIDI keyboard from Bitwig. This is the most basic script with the least wirings and definitions 
where you should be able to catch all knobs and faders via the MIDI modulator. And at least number five, you have some virtual MIDI cabling outside Bitwig in your operating system. Then have a look there. I assume you know what you're doing. The link to the supported controllers, the driven by MossScript and Moss YouTube channel, will be in the video description down below. Now the pressure. Pressure is also called aftertouch, but let's stick to pressure. There are two types of pressure, channel pressure and poly pressure. In this case, the MIDI modulator just catches channel pressure. That means if you press several keys on your keyboard and just press one key harder down to the pressure level, all keys or sounds are affected with eventual changes you defined. In contrast to poly pressure, only those keys you are pushing harder to the pressure level, the sounds they generate will be affected. Here you should pay attention to the inspector page um, where per voice setting is located. In lack of having a controller with poly pressure or aftertouch, I think this is where you can activate it in Bitwig. So, Band is just pitch band, and you can use the signal to modulate additional parameters. Or you can deactivate pitch band in the track properties. Um, if you click here on track, the track properties, this is the default. Um, so you can deactivate and use the pitch band wheel, strip, or joystick regarding what type of controller hardware you have, just for any other parameter then. And the last section is the channel section. Here you can define that Bitwig is listening to all 16 MIDI channels or to some defined uh, MIDI channel like channel 1. Or with the additional switch, voice channel, to follow the channel of the last played note. That can be very practical if you are sending notes from one track to different destinations, like different hardware that reacting to different defined MIDI channels. You see, you can use that little modulator in various sophisticated ways. Thanks for watching. My name is still Odo Sindaidokai, and if you have any questions or comments about this topic or any other topics, please let me know and leave a comment. If you find the video helpful, like, subscribe and share it with your friends and some extraterrestrials, it might be helpful to them as well. I hope to see you soon again in the next video. Stay healthy, save the future, take care, see you then. Ciao, ciao.